Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 5-6 Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, In these uncertain times, where the world is rapidly changing, we must heed the call to return to Christ before facing the consequences of straying from his path. The Bible serves as our guide a beacon of light illuminating the way back to the arms of our Savior. 1. The deceptive lure of worldly pleasures. In a world filled with enticing distractions and momentary pleasures, it's easy to lose sight of our true purpose. The Apostle John warns us in 1 John 2 15, 17, Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. The pursuit of worldly desires can lead us away from God, creating a void that only Christ can fill. 2. The snare of unforgiveness. Unforgiveness can be a heavy burden, trapping us in a cycle of bitterness and resentment. Christ's teachings emphasize forgiveness, as in Matthew 6, 14, 15. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Returning to Christ involves releasing the chains of unforgiveness and embracing His mercy. 3. The Dangers of Complacency In Revelation 3, 15, 16, Jesus warns against spiritual lukewarmness, saying, I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So, because you are lukewarm neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Apathy in our faith can distance us from God. It's time to reignite the fire of passion for Christ in our hearts. 4. The Perils of Neglecting God's Word The Bible is not merely a collection of stories. It is the living Word of God, a source of guidance and wisdom. Psalm 119, 105 declares, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Neglecting scripture leaves us vulnerable to the darkness of the world. Returning to Christ involves a renewed commitment to studying and applying his word in our lives. 5. The consequence of delay. Procrastination in matters of faith can have eternal consequences. 2 Corinthians 6, 2 urges us, In the time of my favor I heard you and in the day of salvation, I help you, I tell you. Now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. Delaying our return to Christ only prolongs the separation from His abundant grace. Lastly, my brothers and sisters, let us heed the call to return to Christ before it's too late. Embrace the transformative power of His love. Shed the burdens that weigh you down, and allow His grace to guide your steps. Subscribe to our channel for more inspiring messages rooted in God's Word. Share this transformative message with others, so they too may find their way back to Christ. Together, let us create a ripple effect of spiritual renewal in our lives and the lives of those around us. May God's grace be with you all.